Kia ora whanau and welcome to another episode of Get a Job and Get Healthy with Costas Enterprises. Um, today I will be following up on what I was talking about last week uh, in regards to print on demand, um, tools that you can use and today we're going to be talking about um, a different design website that you can use um, it is not the same as Canva, which I've previously talked about. This one is uh, one called Place It, and when you are searching for it, it is placeit.net. Um, now, the reason I talk about Place It is quite simply the ability to take your image that you created from Canva, uh, the transparent image that we talked about, and Uploading that to an uh, to a a model, for example, or an uh, and, and what will happen is that particular model will appear with your design in about maybe five to ten seconds after you've uploaded the design. You can customize the T-shirt and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, now, the, the I, I do have to be honest as well, like. I do not use place it for its design stuff um, while some of the designs do look really really good I do have to um, stress that I currently use Canva and given my current budget I'm only prepared to pay $20 um, New Zealand per month for this particular service and unfortunately place it is a little bit more expensive not by much but it would be about another 24 25 dollars uh per month if you did that did do that um however they do have an annual subscription screen as well which is a little bit cheaper so that is new zealand dollars i'm going to give you the us dollars now so monthly it's 14 dollars 95 us per month or annually 89 dollars and 69 cents per month now apparently that's saving uh 50 percent um so you're basically only spending seven dollars 47 per month if you do buy the yearly one now the main reason i mention um place it is because of as i said you can put things onto models what they call it they call it mock-ups now you can get the same deal as canva you can use both of those for free so you can use some place it uh images for free but you will find unfortunately there are a lot that are not free um and there are some free logos that you can create and all that sort of things but unfortunately um, for me i find that um i just basically use them for the mock-ups to to upload the images that I have created. One day I will actually try uh, creating designs through Placer as well as you can use those for free. Um, whether or not you get a license to use that on print on demand, I do need to follow that up. I do know that they do give you a license to use the mock-up um, and I will create a blog post about this probably next week uh in regards to place it and you will actually see some of the the designs i've already created based on ones that i've already got and it is a very very handy little um website to know about especially if you don't even if you don't pay um so you can do things like with the with the designs there are quite a few uh, designs you know there's things like freebies and musician designs and gaming designs they are pretty well known for their gaming designs uh, for gaming logos um, and they do look pretty cool I gotta admit um, you're not just restricted to designs for um, uh, just just general designs there's quite a few things and you it, it is very simple uh, to create a design from what I've seen it is basically click on an image um, that you like and then you can customize each image effectively um, you can't so much create a um, your own design in your mind but you can customize one that's already been created which is quite cool um, and so for example i'm looking at a couple of logos now and there's one really cool one called anarchy uh, which is a t-shirt design maker um with a, a basically a guy with um 
samurai swords and, and sort of a mask and sunglasses. And it does look very, very cool. And I know that for a fact, out of the ones that I've seen, you can click into that, you can change his face, you can change whether it's swords or whether it's guns or and, and you can change also the the background behind him as well as the colorway that they've got with him as well um but as for the point of being able to sort of take that image and then put that somewhere differently there is a little bit more flexibility with canva uh, as opposed to what there is at the moment um that being said there are also a lot of templates now if you are paying for it it is a very good service from what i understand um I know from looking for the actual uh, mock-ups myself, there is a lot more mock-ups um, that are available to you if you are um, if you are a paying customer. Now they do do one-off payments as well, so you can simply buy one design for I believe it's about seven dollars US, um, which you know if you do like the design and it's something that you do want to put money towards you can do that however if you are going to do that you may want to think about just buying the monthly one uploading all your designs and then cancelling that monthly subscription it is it is the same as canva in that respect um the cool thing about uh place it as i said it is really really good for making your ads it is really good for your own social media um advertising so that you can get your designs out there now that is actually one of the things that i am currently doing i'm currently running a facebook ad at the moment uh using mock-up placements um with my canva designs and we will talk about that a little bit later probably in the next podcast as well as uh also talking about things like the analytics and all those sorts of things um and i'll tell you about how much i've spent on it how much I've had clicks and lots of stuff, but all the designs, uh, all the ads that I'm using, the mock-ups are literally the same mock-ups that you will see, uh, and I'll throw those up when I create my um, my blog post in regards to that. For those that don't know, um, if you, which I, I find very funny, um, if this is your first time listening to one of my podcasts, I do have a blog post as well, uh, usually available at uh, costasenterprises.business.blog. Um, you can go along to there and you can find all of my uh, posts in regards to passive income, uh, print on demand, keto journey, uh, also getting things like your CV and your cover letter ready um, so that you can apply for jobs and how to actually uh, apply for things like star examples and all those fun things that we all have to deal with now if we are applying for jobs. So in this particular part I'm going to discuss just a little bit about what um, place it is and um, one of the cool things that you can do is like just scrolling down on the site if you go to place it yourself click on freebies for example and you'll be taken to a whole lot of different freebies um, for things like mock-ups designs logos you can actually click up the top and then pick from there where you want and um, one of the ones I'm looking at, Free Gaming Squad Logo Maker. So I'm just going to, while I'm talking to you, I'm going to go through this myself and we're going to just discuss it a bit. So it, the site is a little bit slow sometimes um, while it is creating things. Okay, so uh, place it has got me something and this is, as I said, the Free Gaming Squad Logo. Um, so by default, it's got Smasher Squad and it's got a uh, sort of a chibi uh, looking girl uh, in a school uniform um, with a baseball bat uh, basically looks like she's going to kick some ass effectively now first thing you see is up the top you see free download so you can simply just download this now and that is available to you now um, I can see in the background it does say sort of place it all over the place um, if you do download that and there is it is not a transparent image if you've got Canva you can always change that and you know remove the uh the place it images now i would be very very careful of that just for the simple fact that the image itself is not you it is actually owned by um place it in the first instance um even if you change up the design even if you change the colors and all that sort of stuff um that does actually uh belong to them so you want to make sure that if you do download this and i will get through the process and we'll see if um you can actually download it uh and whether it downloads it as a free 
transparent image or if you are uh, if it is effectively changing as something else now the first thing you see is as I said free download so hopefully we can see if we do get this as a transparent image um, you can select other images uh, on the right hand side as well as all the colors that are there for you for example there's got outline colors background colors a main color of the actual image itself and the accent around it um, I've clicked on a flaming skull, there's a reaper, there's a couple of skulls with brains, there's a couple of, uh, it looks like, guns around the targets. Um, typical things that you might expect from an actual um, gaming, gaming squad, gaming lo location. Um, there's a couple of gamer girls, um, as well as some gamer boys. It's... it's they're pretty cool, i got to admit. Like, the graphics themselves are very, very well drawn. Um, and uh, I, I quite quite like it, i got to admit. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select one, a fairly neutral one, hopefully. Um, and we're going to play around a bit. Um, let's go with this timber wolf, okay? Um, so we're going to go with this wolf. It, uh, at the moment the, the, the background colors are still things like scion and gray and you can change those up um, it does take a few minutes uh, for it looks like to render uh, the image that you've currently got and we're going to play around with the colors um, let's go with the outline color we're just going to go with a yellow again it does take a little bit of time to adjust the image now the other thing on, on the left hand side you'll see text and you can actually put the different texts that you've got there and change the color of it as well so um, at the moment it looks like there are a couple of fonts that you can you can choose uh, by default this particular one is back of town and there's things like afterlife and it shows you an, uh, an idea of what the actual um, design will look like with that particular font uh, which is quite cool um, I'm just going to change the main color a bit. I want this this to be a bit darker. How's that look? And I'm going to keep the Smasher Squad just to 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 keep it sort of consistent. Um, but this time it's going to be a wolf. I got to admit, I am quite liking this um, this design the whole process is it does look like something that you could potentially have on a t-shirt if you were being doing competitive play um very cool actually very very cool and even though the the colors that i selected are very you know uh, they're very feminine um uh, originally because that is the the, the go-to um it all works pretty well actually um and there are quite a few images you can use. Now, whether or not this particular image is free, I don't know. Um, there's also a background effect, whether you want it as a uh, image, so you can do sort of a gunshot uh, wound or a, uh, a spray can splatter. Uh, I'm just going to have a look at, see what it looks like. It, it is currently set as no image. Um, oh, yeah. Um, I think we're going to go with no image on that one. Um, and I've changed up the, the bottom. Uh, you can also set the layout as well. Um, I've got to admit, this is looking quite good. Um, you can even change the background. So for that, I'm just going to go with a simple black. Uh, because black on yellow um, outline is going to look amazing. Um, you can switch up the colors. And you could probably spend a good couple of hours doing this, I'll, I'll, I'll admit. Um, yeah, that actually looks quite cool. So I'll just change the accent a bit to a maybe a darker purple. Um, as you can see, I'm doing this while I'm talking to you. So it, it is cool to be able to, to play around with these things. And I will even download this and show you guys um, as well. In the there are presets that you can go for. So Okay, now we're going to go and we're going to try a free download and we're going to see if this comes out as a transparent image. Now, sometimes when you click download, um, it will say, do you want this download now or do you want an unlimited s subscription? So right off the front of the bat, it says free logo download. You can only get this logo, Smasher Squad, 
um, no watermark, high resolution PNG. So it is the same as uh, Canva in the respect that it does give you uh, PNG. Now the most important part is at the very bottom it says commercial usage is okay. Meaning that if I wanted to upload this to either my Teespring or my um, or my Redbubble sites or my Threadless, I can. So I can now use this for print on demand. I got to admit that is very, very cool. Um, and now that I know that we can do this, I will probably be playing around with some of the logos, playing around with some of the images and seeing how many of these designs I can sort of get. Um, Cause if I can get a few for free and I can actually upload them, then, you know, it's worth having another tool there. Um, I will go deeper into the playset stuff on my blog once I have actually um, created it. Um, but overall, yeah, it's um, it's very good. The site is very easy to use, okay? It's, um, while it does get a little bit, not really buggy, but what, what you will find is if you try to open up um, a separate mock-up in a different page it'll turn around and go hey no you, you know you really can't do that um you will find a lot of pop-ups okay it'll say hey do you want to do this hey do you want to do this should you want to do this um which can get a bit annoying but i'm assuming once you start paying it'll take those pop-ups away um for example after just just downloading it i've got hooray you just got your first free download subscribe now for unlimited downloads uh, of all mock-ups and designs and videos and logos so you can actually use this for videos as well now that is a very cool thing and you will see um, when you do jump onto place it some of the free designs that you get are actually videos and I don't know how it does it I have to say it is very very cool to see your design on a model and the person is walking or the person is you know laughing and your design is moving with that image it's not looking blocky it's not looking you know really bad and it's not a, it's not a bad design either usually it's like about uh, sorry it's not a bad um transition it's about 15 seconds i am thinking about getting a couple of these and you know what i may try a monthly subscription i might try one month um in the future and let you know uh how it all goes uh, but at this stage, it's very, very cool. Um, I've got my free download, so um, I'm just going to... There, there's a part there, what, you do have to log in, okay? So that is the one thing that you do have to actually do. You do have to have a, an account, but you can have a free account. Um, so I'm going to click here to download, and once it's downloaded, I will actually have a look at the actual image itself. Um, Saying so download again. Um, I may or may not use this for Redbubble. I might play around and, and try another one when I do actually create my um, my place at logo in that respect. Um, but yeah, it's um, I got to admit at first glance, as I'm looking at it while I'm talking to you people, um, it is very very cool. Um, especially if this is free and there are and I'll know by looking at the quality exactly how good it is um, it is a little bit less than what you would expect so um, most times your um, your designs should be about 5,000 by 5,000 um, now as I said this is only 4,000 by 4,000 so you won't be able to use it on every single uh, print on demand site for example I think Amazon, Merch by Amazon, you need 4,200 by 5,400 or something similar to that. Um, I'm just going to call squad. Okay, so I have um, saved that. So I will just have a quick look at the actual image itself. Um, once it loads, there it is there. It's very clear. Um, I got to admit, it is a really, really high quality design um, that you could probably pay someone to make, and it is free. It is free for me to use. I will start using Place It a little bit. Um, I still will use Canva as my main, um, but if I can get some free designs as well as, of course, the mock-ups, which is the actual reason I use this. 
um, that's very cool. Now, in, in the way of mock-ups, um, the ads you can get are quite cool. Even the free ones. You can get ones with three people, uh, which means you can have three of your designs on one thing. You can also do things like upload your logo. So if you do have a logo that you've created through Canva, or now, if you've created it through Placeit, um, you can simply... Um, upload that to place it and then it will be su uh, supplied there for you which is quite cool uh, and you can resize the logo uh, once you do download these they do download with no watermark um, so obviously the logo does as well as of course um, the um, as well as the mock-up and you can upload those to Facebook uh, you can upload them to anywhere you basically want to advertise now of course one of the things we will talk about next time is about facebook ads and also the integration that facebook ads has with things like uh, instagram uh, if you create a facebook ad then you know it will appear there um yeah i gotta admit i am quite impressed by this uh logo creation um i do want to play around a little bit more with place it and i probably will um uh, in the design function part but as a mock-up thing it is a must okay i'm gonna i'm gonna put it out there um it, it isn't a must that you pay for it um unless there's a specific design that you see that you're like wow that model is exactly what i'm looking for it is exactly the kind of person that i'm trying to target um if that is not a free design and it is an actual paid design then i would strongly suggest looking at getting your designs uploaded onto that model within a month uh pay for the month and then once you're done you're done basically now the cool thing is um at present i believe i have about close to 15 to 16 um of these uh free mock-ups that i've been able to download and use in my advertising um and they do come off pretty well um receptive um uh, there's of course there's various types of mock-ups you've got a lot of free mock-ups that are um people of course um and that includes like all nationalities all ages you've got your old people your young people you've got your um general product placement uh i like to call it but it's basically like you can choose a cup and it's a cup sitting on a desk uh with no one around it and you can use that and that can be used as a uh, mock-up as well um and there's there's about three to four hundred free um mock-ups that you're allowed to use and that is um not only just um photos that is video as well so there's a couple of video ones as well now i i did, a, a did originally i created a video um without realizing it was a video and um the video size was quite small actually it was about five megabytes for about five seconds uh which is a lot less than you would expect um one little provision when you are creating uh mock-ups i do have to be uh make this very clear they do have a maximum size for your uh upload so your upload must be below 12 megabytes okay now if you are creating a design in canva and it's a png um a transparent png if you're doing normal elements or text which we talked about last time uh you're going to be okay okay it might be about maybe 10 to 9 megabytes per file but if you start adding a photo it automatically jumps okay it jumps to about at least 20 megabytes so you will find that place it will turn around and say oh well i can't i can't accept this there is a little workaround around uh for that you can either choose to re-download the uh, item from canva but this time there is a button to click uh, compress file it will make it a bit smaller but it may not make it small enough if that does happen what you can do and what i did uh was i um uploaded the design into microsoft powerpoint 
and then right clicked and went save as image on the actual image itself um, if you've got PowerPoint and then what that did was that actually made that a smaller file for me a much smaller file that place it managed to put up there was no there was no um, degradation in the image as well which was quite cool uh, and it made things a lot easier um, so yeah if you do have designs where you have got photos in there and you you do want to upload those to show them off on models uh, for your for your place at designs um, you will actually find it is a lot easier uh, to take your image put it in somewhere like PowerPoint um, even if you create an album up in Facebook for example and you upload the design to Facebook uh, even if it's a private album and then download that file you will still have a much smaller file now whether or not the file will have the same sort of uh, resolution again that is another issue um, but for the most part you will find it quite uh, high quality and when the images do come out for place it they are very high quality um, as I said, looking at this logo design that we've just created together, um, it is like, even though it's an, uh, a sort of a animated type design, it is a fantastic quality. Um, uh, I'm really impressed, I gotta admit. And when you start looking at things like the Placeit uh, mock ups of actual designs of your models with wearing the stuff that you've designed, um, you will be, I hope, very impressed as me. Um, in fact, yeah, I, I, these days, whenever I try to do any advertising, um, I will upload those designs uh, with, on my place at models, and then share those on sort of Twitter or Instagram and Facebook. Um, and even though, you know, we're based over here in, in New Zealand, um, yes, the, the models, uh, some of them do look American, of course, um, but, you know, if you are based in America or you're, you're trying to target an American base, you will find those as well. And you will find some designs uh, aimed at um, ethnic groups, aimed at um, other countries, um, and, you know, you can use those as well. Like, uh, I think the important thing is keep your uh designs diverse um when you're doing your mock-ups so you know anybody can buy the buy your products and should be buying your products and um if you don't feel that way if you want to target a specific nationality or a specific um country look that's completely up to you but if you want my opinion you know try to make it pretty diverse um show your designs on anyone and everyone males females um there are some which are for heterosexual some that are for homosexual um might as well uh try to play to everybody um if you want your design to be out there for everyone then i strongly suggest using place it because you will find a lot of diversity and that is even on the free designs there's even more designs that are available to you uh, I believe they say it's over uh, sort of 50,000 um, uh, mock-up designs uh, that are available for people that are pro uh, or pay for the subscription. Um, um, that I, I strongly suggest everyone to check out placeit.net. Um, and now that, we, as I said, we've done a design thing, that part of might might have been a bit boring for you, and I apologize. Uh, but at the same time, it is worth a go um this podcast has elapsed just under 30 minutes at the moment and we created a brand new design that quickly so if i can do it that quick you can do it that quick um, now granted of course we didn't change the uh language uh in the actual design um but in my view this is a really really strong design which was created quick easy and now you can upload throw it onto something um and yeah uh, there is a lot more customization than i thought granted um there will be more customization if you do pay if you pay for the full monthly subscription you will find a lot more images to use a lot more um logos to create um another thing that place it does as well is 
they are a little bit like Redbubble and Teespring. They do have a marketplace as well. Um, and uh, you can buy your things from them as well. So if you wanted to buy your own uh, sweatshirts uh, with the design that you've just created, uh, maybe you want to buy them for your own gaming company, for example, uh, you can actually do that as well, which is quite, quite cool. Now Canva does have that option as well, but um, Placeit do actually have a lot more that you can actually do as well. Um, other than that, I want to say thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this podcast episode, um, and I hope you uh, check out the website, uh, check along to my blog, um, I am uploading today a new blog episode, um, and that will be up uh, very shortly, so that will be in regards to the Canva stuff that we talked about last week, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at doncostas at gmail.com. Uh, And until next week, thank you very much and have a great day.